well that was short but sweet however charging the battery always helps as i was saying you couldn't hear me anyway but today's bloody miserable there's wind there's rain there's everything you want there is a cow there is bombs the feeding this is horrible quick morning update barry is still with us he's still stealing the little bits of cow cake that fall out from in there they're cow nuts and i think he's doing well on it i don't think we'll ever get him hand tamed but he's part of the farm welcome to the farm barry with an eye this is the outdoor cattle some of them are indoors some are outdoors they have not eaten down as much as I anticipated, therefore I will leave their bale until this afternoon's feed, get them to eat down as much of that as I can, and uh, save wastage really, that's what it's all about. These are the middle calves, the slightly older ones, they're okay, they're having their morning nuts. They've taken a chunk of their haylage out, there's still a bit left, but I'll top them up all the same. One of today's jobs is that little drinking trough there. It hasn't worked for as long as I've known. Ain't much cop. But in here, we need to increase our stock holding slightly. And this little shed here, shed, it's not really a shed. It's a third cubicle beyond all the others. So if I peer over the wall, you can see there's the middle cowslet. So these are going to be well, end cows, I suppose. Anyway, the plan is that didn't work. So I am going to put that drinks dispenser trough on the wall there, ready for the new occupants. One hole drilled, it was already piloted, that's why it went so easy. Get that lined up, make sure it's all perfectly positioned, then draw the next hole. Cheers, going in. Quite a lot to be said for a decent SDS drill, and that certainly does the job a hell of a lot easier than using a standard armor drill. Fast forward a little bit, and it's hanging on the wall. It looks totally on the wonk, but I'm fairly confident. That's near enough for a water trough for animals. So next up, that pipe, we need to connect to that pipe. <sighs> An epic walk away from where I'm working. Brings me to the stopcock for that area. Hopefully I can turn this on without the sound of washing water out the other side. A bit promising and an epic walk back to make sure it's not flying out everywhere and then see if i can get the system to fill so in today's episode of sketchy balancing tricks does this supply water to that trank to trank trough tank whatever you want to call it Yep, but it's all blown up the back as well. Not really what I planned. Let's have a look at that. Mm, okay, that wasn't so successful. Take two. There's definitely water going in the right place. 
Ooh, it's upset the cattle group. There's a funny old noise you're making there. And you. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good if my phone fell at this point? No, not really. Anyway. It's filling. It's shutting off. There's a shadow. Woof, gripping view in this. Edge of the seat material. Oh, shadow's back. I must stop leaning. You know what? I think this might have worked. Hey, to the applause of the middle cows. Calves. Cattle. Ah. This is painfully slow, isn't it? I think you might notice that it'll be uh, sped up in the footage. Or cut. Totally done. They have water. Okay, let's get the top put back on because the bag of tricks. It comes complete with a little top to stop them messing with the uh, plumbing. And all I've got to do now is find the screw because I've put that down. <laughs> Clown. Screw found. And a big fat tick. Job done. Woohoo! Let's go and have a cup of coffee. Alright. Live action cam. We have me running the gauntlet with the cattle and it's recorded directly on this microphone which probably makes me sound like I'm trying to run the Grand National but oh, because I'm coming in the wrong way I'm fighting. Puffing and panting probably by now. They're not funny. They get really wound up when they want their biscuits or cake or nuts or whatever you call it. And they barge. Come on in guys. Oof. That didn't go well. Could have got expensive. There we are. That's the bottom cows caked up. Precariously balanced and I will actually take a shot of this because <laughs> that's ridiculous really. GoPro cable tied to the tripod because why not? You'll notice as well they haven't had milk. They're noticing they haven't had milk as well but this is their last week with it. So here on after, milk in the mornings, nothing in the afternoon, and then at the weekend it's just going to be food. They go through an absurd amount of this now, so considering there's only five little mouths, but that's good. pick a bit up with they thrown on the floor and that'll do them till the morning. Come on guys. So 
that's the little ones done. I'm eating haylage too. Let's see about this lot, because I know they have chomped their way through their haylage. How many guys who've been busy? All right, let's level this up. So I'll move this over. You can get into context then just how much haylage there is and what they'll go through of an evening. Definitely like a bleeding racehorse now. Whew. Go on, guys. Hey. It's much nicer to eat from the pile than it is to eat from your hay rack, isn't it? Come on, get get off it, you fool. That's no help, is it? Whee. And just like that, everything's finished, everything's fed. So from the faithful spot, there are pigeons. And that's about it. Cheers for now, see you tomorrow. Morning. It's a lot better today, a lot, 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 lot less wind. Immediately, I can see. See beyond that post? Ducks or fowl or something, I think. Not in the field they shouldn't be in. Ah, uh, nowhere else. So, time to feed. These guys, I think, probably need a bale because they look like they've done their best with that one. Not entirely sure what a bale this is. That's a bale of hedgerow or, or something. I mean, it's a bit of roughage in there, isn't there? Hi, right, guys. You alright? Are you ready for some cake? Yeah, good boys and girls. So yeah, I'll give that a poke with the telly handler and see if it breaks it up a bit, but there's some serious roughage in there. I'm doing no harm. All right. You're the one that doesn't like cheese and onion crisps. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. There is some smallest calves. They're making a noise. They want their morning milk. The middle calves. They're making a bit of noise, but they want their nuts. The outdoor cows, obviously we've seen are all outdoors, but they've made a dent on that bale, but there's plenty left for them there. So I shan't bother myself too much with that. Nuts and milk then. Yeah, more footage of vicious farm dogs. Sitting on a bench, having waiting, brushes. Waiting for the morning brush, yeah. the horse brush. Absurd. As another day closes, the cattle are heading sort of heading homewards. That's the outdoor cattle on the way up to the shed. And they are the last of the lot because there are no more out. They're all up in the shed feeding and bedding in for the evening. Ponds. I don't know. Crow flying past, does that count for anything? Or was it Barry? I don't know. Anyway, there we are, another day. Uh, back with you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>